Andy here from Mickey BRC. I hope you're all doing well. We're here today at Grafton Field, our local field. Uh, I've got Yoda here, and we've got this Aerofoam MB339. More specifically, we've been testing, or Yoda's been testing over the last month and a half, month and a bit, yeah. um, the Linton X80 turbine. Now, Yoda, you, you've had so much experience with turbines lately, and I mean, your career with both full size and uh, NRC is expansive. So, who else better to test the uh, new turbine that's coming to market yourself? Tell us about like, the, what you've what experienced with so yeah. far. Um, first of all, thanks to Ostars for bringing it in and letting us test. But uh, I've uh, done a lot, of, a lot of runs on this machine, put a lot of jet fuel through it, uh, and I'm really liking it. The spool's up, is, the spool up time is amazing, it's, yep. it's very fast. So, my experience with turbines has been. Um, Jetsmart, uh, King Tech, z -Koi of late, and it's comparing easily to, say, the z -Koi as far as usability goes. Wow. Um, and it's definitely got the grunt of, say, the X90. It's probably got a little bit more power than the X90. Wow. Wow. It is a little bit heavier than the X90. Yep. Uh, at 1.1 kilos just for the turbine. Okay, yep. Uh, but it's, it's pretty fuel efficient because you've got the throttle down all the time. <laughs> yeah. In this particular airframe, exactly. I think it's a little overpowered. Yeah. So if, if I continue to fly it, I'll probably drop the power a little bit yeah. now that I've tested off grass as well as off tarmac. Yeah. So we've had 26 flights now yeah. with the turbine in the airframe yes. yeah. uh, and 12 bench test runs with the turbine. Yeah. So I've got a lot of knowledge on how it runs, how it starts. It takes a minute and 15 for the startup process. Right. And that's right, right to running, ready to go, yeah. minute 15, so you've got to allow for that in your timing. Uh, fuel consumption, we know with the sort of flying that you'll be showing on <laughs> Mickey BRC's channel, uh, on your channel, it, that sort of flying, I'm right back at probably 20% throttle for most of the flight, yeah. and I go to possibly 60 to 80% on the up line, yeah. but I, I never hold it flat. I, I just haven't been to full throttle yet. Yeah, yeah in this airframe. Yeah, it's, it, that's a limitation for the airframe while we're still testing and not so much the, the turbine itself. That's right. Later on down the track, we'll probably throw the turbine into something else, something that's got a little bit more structural rigidity um, to really sort of test its paces. But, I mean, it wasn't always smooth sailing, sailing, was it? Like, when you first got it, there was a few... Tell us some yeah, things. Yeah, so straight out of the box, uh, I took the turbine out of the aircraft Put it on the bench and started testing it. The first few runs, it was spitting raw fuel out the back and a few flames, and it just didn't give me confidence. But as soon as I started talking to the factory about what's going on, a couple of little changes to the start settings of the valves, uh, how much fuel was being put in at the start, the length, the duration of time that the start allowed before um, it cut out. Once we got a couple of parameters sorted out, it's been non stop no changes just runs performs stops cools yeah. i have not had one issue from probably start five on yeah so at least 30 33 34 starts have been absolutely perfect yeah. and all the runs have been perfect yeah. so the temperature everything is holding really nicely it comes with quite a big um screen that you can program it, it does, with yeah. So all the, all the smarts are in the front of the turbine, like a lot of this new gear is. Uh, and you just plug it in, you can program, you can see what's going on. So those changes are very, very simple to do. I'm gonna help them a little bit with the English version of yeah. the manual, yep. um, which I'm happy to do, because I have good knowledge on it now. Yep. So I'll, I'll help uh, the factory guys with a little bit of just some of the wording. Yep. Um, it's just that transition from, uh, to, uh, Chinese to English, yeah, yeah. It just causes a few problems. And, and there, there, like one thing I'll say is uh, Leo from Linton has been amazing throughout this whole process. Um, you know, any questions that Yoda had, had, we, we we're in a group chat. Uh, any questions that he had about parameters, settings, and stuff like that, Leo was straight on to us, um, giving us guides, showing us videos, and stuff like that. So he's been really helpful throughout the whole process. Now you've had thirty. Seven odd starts with this, yeah. you know it really well. So now you've got a bench line for parameters to be set, which yes. should hopefully be across the board of your range, uh, or at least this particular one. That's right. That's what that's what uh, Leo at the factory said. Is once we've got that sorted, 
now they'll just make them like that out of the factory. So they should come out from the factory, but like with all turbines, <laughs> I say to everyone, <laughs> bench test before you put it in your model. No matter what you buy, bench test it before you put it in the model. And I mean, so this airframe was something that was given to us with the um, turbine itself. Uh, a little, I have to say we were a little bit apprehensive with it initially, um, but the airframe with the turbine and power, I mean, you're only running at 40 to 60 percent, as you said, 80 percent of the upper, and it's got bags of power. Like you're, holding, you're holding back. Oh, you're holding back. Really holding back. Um, so yeah, that's um, so. Going forward, like, is there any other parameters that you? you I think it's just keep on flying the way it is and keep proving that it is a reliable unit and it's a I think it's going to be a cost effective unit to buy especially packaged up with what uh, Steve from Ostars is talking about he's got about 10 different aircraft that will suit this turbine really well and so they can package it up and it'll be a really good cost you know you, you take care of shipping and everything in one go it sounds like it's going to be a really good thing for Australia and New Zealand but also around the world I think it's going to Linton jet is going to take off yeah a bit like Sweeweed. yeah exactly. Um, um, you know, it took you, off over time yeah which you, which you find common in like the HST hmm. uh, sort of plug-and-play ranges yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of the fuel and oil mix I mean uh, you've got I'm, tons, just, tons I'm just using standard 32 grade uh, turbine oil yep at 5%, yep. no other, well, one other additive, just as I like to do, is just a few mil of biobore, which bio is, yep. stops the bugs growing if you have fuel sitting around and we live in a hot country. Yep. <laughs> uh, so that's always good to add to your fuel. And yep. if, if you store your jet and you've got a bit of biobore in the fuel tank, in the fuel, then it stops any growth in filters and things like that. That's the only thing, it's just the standard 32 grade oil, yep. uh, 5%, and it's just been performing beautifully. Yep. So. so Pretty much whatever you're using currently for your Zyko, your Jigmans, your King Tech range, you can yeah, probably yeah. use in terms of oil, you can probably use and, and the Linton, and it's, it's quite yeah. happy. Yeah, um, yeah so ton, tons of power. Now, there's one thing that we did pick up on, which you had mentioned before. This particular model is called the X80, which would imply that it's an 80 N or 80 Newton turbine. It's more like a 95, so just be aware <laughs> of that. It's got the same weight as a 90. And it has the same fuel consumption as a 90 or thereabouts. Yeah. And uh, we've worked it out, so it's around about 95 newtons. So just be aware of that if, 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 you know, once he's coming to market, that if you're picking something for an 80, you're going to have to be backing off just a little bit. It's got tons of power. <laughs> or adding a little bit of extra fuel like I did here. Yeah. I put an extra tank in. Yeah. So this model <laughs> comes with a 1300 mil tank plus a smoke tank. Smoke's great, but it would only mean you would only have a three or four minute flight yeah. um, yeah. after a one minute 15 startup. So Yoda um, wanted more flight time. He's added in a how many mil tank? And so I added another 750. Yeah. And then with the UAT up the front, I got about 2.1 on board. Yeah. And seven minutes landing with good reserve yeah. and throttle manage a little bit, but we'll see. It goes pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so to total run time is around about 10, 10 and a half Yeah, minutes. I have run it for just shy of 11 minutes. From That's a timer set from the moment that I say start yep. to the moment I, I, stop the fly, I stop the turbine. Yep. And that's been just shy of 11 minutes and I've had a little bit of fuel reserve. Nice, nice. So it's not too bad. Like you say, 220 mil yeah. per minute. For normal, regular flying, I would bank on that every day with this turbine. Wow, yeah. So it's not too bad. Yeah, so I mean, uh, apart from a few sort of minor hiccups, getting to know, well not hiccups, but just getting to know the turbine, yeah. would you, you would, you would definitely throw this into one of your more expensive models? Oh, for sure. Yep. Yeah, now I've proven it, it could easily go on the Joker. I've got a Jetmunds 80 in the Joker, yep. and it's blindingly fast already. <laughs> yeah. But I'd love to see what this does, because this is just feels like it's got way more power than the Jetmunds 80. Yeah, wow. The VT80 almost weighs the same as this. Yep. So it'll be a great comparison. And same fuel consumption as well, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 yep, it's got a 2-litre tank in the Joker, so yeah, well. could be game on for 400k <laughs> or more. <laughs> if you want to see that, uh, give us a comment below yep. and uh, Yoda, will throw okay. the, <laughs> Yoda will throw this uh, this 80 into a, well, it's 95 into his calf Joker, which is absolutely amazing. I find it really hard to, to video because it's so quick. Track, even with <laughs> track the lawn dart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. um, likewise, with this particular model, the um, we believe it's an Aerofoam MB339. They are on the market at the moment. This is a different scheme, which is probably available uh, as well. 
Um, if you want us to do a full review on this, it, it was an interesting journey that Yoda's had with the, the airframe itself. Yeah, so if you want to see that, um, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment, and we'll be more than happy to do that. But overall, yeah, the Linton Jet X80, what a machine, and uh, what a surprise. Something that was it's new to the market. These guys are very well uh, embedded with, with the turbine things at the moment anyway, but for different sort of uh, projects. And aren't you drones? Yeah, yeah, yeah apparently they're, they're doing a lot of work in the drone market. So yeah. they've got reliability yeah. and they understand the turbine technology. Yeah. And it, it really shines, so yeah. I'm more than happy to recommend this turbine. Yeah, I brilliant. really love it. It's got the Yoda seal on Of course, we got it for free either. I just <laughs> yeah. love it. Yeah. That's the yeah, honest one thing, guys. Uh, we did get this on a, just to test it uh, sort of basis. We were given it, um, but they have given us sort of no instructions on how to do it. Um, Yoda, it Yoda's um, in a position where he can just fly, 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 fly. And he's got several locations to fly, which we have. We've done it on tarmac, we've done it on grass. You can see behind me. Um, uh, another video which we did out at um, the hangar, which has uh, a tarmac runway. So yeah, it's and it's in hot, cold conditions as well. Yeah. So you test it first in the morning, in the evenings, during the day, and it, it performs exactly the same. It's so consistent. It's one it is. I think, um, Mikel, it's for anyone out there who wants stuff tested, we can do it, and yep. we can do it rapidly. Yeah. As we said, there's already 26 flights on this. Yep. And it's only been flying for a week and a half. A week and a half. <laughs> I've been testing the turbine for a month yep. with bench tests, but a week and a half in the airframe, 26 flights, yeah. thumbs up. Yeah. Most people do that in a year. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, it's funny, you guys will notice in your own fields, you, know, you have some people that will fly their jets maybe once or twice, three times in the day. In that time, Yoda's already been in six. So. <laughs> it's, it's, it's lucky. Cool. Yeah, so the Linton X80, watch the space, because it's going to, hit the market in Australia, I would say, fairly soon. And they've got some bigger ones coming. They've got bigger ones coming, so we'll be uh, looking forward to doing some more testing on those. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks everyone. very much. Cheers, everyone. Have a good day. So we'll just do the intro, then quickly. Alrighty, uh, just say good day to people, I suppose. Good day from Australia. <laughs>
Everyone, Mickey Gave. <laughs> Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to the Mickey BRC channel and click here to see more videos. Oh, come on, pick something.